Dr. Sidney Davis. I am the director of the Niger Association of Global Africana Sciences. And uh, we're here to do a uh, presentation on uh, our discovery of the Twin Pyramids uh, in Zinda, Niger by Professor Master Sony Gabo. So I will begin by introducing to you Master Sony Gabo. Master Sony Gabo uh, started studies in telecommunications in the Institute of Telecommunications, Oran, Algeria, and continued studies in Toulouse, France, where he got his engineering degree in telecommunications. He continued his studies at the University of Strasbourg, France, in the Department of Egyptology, where he matriculated for his Master of Egyptology degree. He returned to Niger to work for the government as a telecommunication engineer in the National Telecommunication Company. He is also a practitioner and professor of Egyptian yoga since 2009. In February 29, 2012, there was an announcement of a discovery of a pyramid in the village of Danbaki, 20 kilometers west of the city of Zinda and two kilometers north of the village of Termini. This most exceptional discovery was the result <coughs> of years of research <coughs> done by the spiritual master Soli Gaber. Master Gaber claims that the pyramid of Dan Baki is older than the Egyptian pyramids. It is in an advanced stage of deterioration and was not opened when it was discovered <coughs> by Master Gaber. The Dan Baki pyramid has a twin nearby and appears to be part of a series of pyramids that are unopened, located in the region of Kanu. All the pyramids in the neighborhood appear to have remained sealed. Master Gobert reports that this discovery <coughs> is the result of our activities we the quote result of our activities we have been carrying out over seven years in collaboration with the American Research Center of Egyptology, located in Texas, USA. Master Garber explained well, that well, years well, of well, study well, of the well, 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 text well, well, led him to the name of the village where he discovered the pyramid. He believes that the point of origin of humanity is in West Africa, Niger. From there, people spread into Chad, Nigeria, Sudan, Egypt, Yemen, and Saudi Arabia. Study of the ancient hieroglyphic texts reveals a close affinity between ancient Egyptian and Hausa. The names Talmud and Dagaza constantly recur in the hieroglyphic texts that Garber studied. Dagaza means crown of God and refers to the sun. Gaza is a variant of Giza. The discovery of this pyramid will require not only a reclassification of black African languages, but a total rewriting of not only of African history, but also the history of humanity. Master Garba has um, had, he's had seminars, he's presented this um, research in Europe, in Africa, and Asia. This will be his first time making a like presentation here in the United States. Uh, Master Garber, though, is at a disadvantage, though, coming to the United States to give this um, presentation because everywhere he has gone, he's been able to speak in his native tongue and they've been able to understand, or, I mean, not his native tongue, but his, uh, um, the tongue of uh, his, his, uh, his country, which is French, it's a francophone. Um, country colonized by France, so well, they speak French, and so he's been able to speak French in the various seminars and presentations that he's been able to make around the world. 
but here he's going to be handicapped because he will not be able to speak French. He has to speak in English, and his English, although it is, I think it's fairly pretty good, but he does have trouble expressing some ideas. And so um, I hope that I can assist him in doing this because we've, um, we've worked together and we've talked a lot, and I, I have a sense of his mind and what he tries to, wants to communicate. So um, he will try to do the best of his ability, do the best of his ability to give this presentation. Um, the other um, factor affecting what we will do here tonight, tonight, this evening, is that because of the impediment, we will not be able to go through as much information as we would like to normally present because of the language barrier and the time that it will take for him to try to express what he wants to, to communicate. But we will, we will do our very best to do uh, what we can to, to uncover or to demonstrate what we can. Um, so, um, without further ado, I will present to you Master Sobe Gaza. I do, the, I do that uh, during uh, seven years in the first time. And after, after seven years, to try to decode him all the hieroglyphic signs in Hausa, after seven years, um, I totally, I totally, after seven years, I totally finish, I totally end the decoding in uh, all hieroglyphic signs in Hausa. And I understand that really the ancient language of Egyptian and the ancient writing of Egyptian were Hausa. So um, I have, I can, I can, I can say that uh, since, since I decode, I since I decode in uh, the the hieroglyphic signs in Hausa, uh, I have the key. I have the key to understand the the civilization and the history of the Asian. From this decoding that I made in Hausa, from this, this, this decoding, I understand that all, all the texts, all the Egyptian texts, talk about one pyramid. One pyramid, <coughs> not, the, the, not the three, the three pyramids that we know in Egypt, but the text related and history that they live about one pyramid in Zender. So, this pyramid, uh, according to the text, the ancient Egyptian text, this pyramid was located, they say, in Tambaki. Tambaki at Zender. They related often Tambaki, Tambaki Seyar, there is a pyramid at Tambaki on the text. Often, they related, they related this pyramid. So I am in Niger. I work for the government in Niger, but I never, never know what is. Um, I never know where is located this village of Tambaki. I don't know. I am in Niger, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> it is like you, you, you live in USA, but you don't know every every village or every town in USA. There is done some 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 town that that uh, you don't know, but exist but exist in USA. Don't it is the same when I see Tambaki on the text related related by the ancient Egyptian. So I try to find this village in Niger. So in 2012, I'm going to Zender. When I go to Zender, I ask to the villages. Where is located the village of Tambaki? So um, I try to ask uh, this question uh, to the villages where old. So when I come to them there, they say, they say me that uh, there is one village no far from Zender who names Tambaki. So I can go to see if it is the village that. I want to I want to see. So I go to this village. When I come to Tambaki, 
the pyramid of Zender, the pyramid of Dambaki is uh, is okay. I see the pyramid. When I come, just I see the pyramid, I say that is the pyramid that they related on the ancient text of Egypt. Mm. So this pyramid that you see is different to the pyramid of Egypt. Why not? The three pyramids that you know in Egypt are not, uh, they are the pyramid, but, but you must uh, understand one thing that the scientific don't, don't know or doesn't, uh, doesn't explain. The three pyramids in Egypt are the tomb. They are the tomb. And the civilization, the civilization that uh, were developed in Egypt, in Egypt, in actual Egypt, on the first time, um, it is, it isn't, it isn't on the first time, it isn't uh, is a real civilized civilization, because uh, the area that you see on the Egypt and the archaeologic archaeological site that you see on Egypt, and. Um, is a gigantic i i can tell that it it is a gigantic cemetery it is the cemetery of our ancestor but on the first time there is no civilization civilization the true civilization that the first egyptian have lived are lived in zender around this pyramid and it is not the only pyramid there are two pyramids that they related on the hieroglyphic text. No? So there are two pyramids and their civilization, their civilization will take place at Tambaki on the first time related uh, on the text that I decoded in Hausa. So now, after this civilization were completely destroyed by the water, I mean uh, some scientific uh, can say uh, it is uh, it is during the gold age after the deluge some scientific can understand it but i i see on the hieroglyphic text on the i see on the text that this first civiliz civilization was destroyed by the water so before before this civilization was completely destroyed uh, the take the take all all uh, Mm. But I can say, uh, they, 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 they take uh, they take the gigantic boot they they build they built gigantic boot and they they're coming back they come back they uh, they go to uh, they go to Egypt from Zender they across the the water because uh, in this time there is water from Zender to Egypt. So they, they take the gigantic boot and then they go to Egypt. Before to go to Egypt, um, they built the civilization around, around the, the, the Lak Chad. Chad, uh, Lak Chad, how many names Lak Chad in English? You say, what's the vote? Right? What did they do? They took them we know it went to Egypt. Yes. There was a vast waterway between the West Africa mm -hmm. and the West East Africa. When they left Zender, they go, they go to the, they go to, to the, to the Naf. Yes. So um, in the first time, and um, they uh, they stay on uh, on Lake Chad. Latitude, longitude? No, 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 no. Lake, Lake Chad. Lake Chad. Lake Chad. Yes, Chad. around Lake Chad. Oh, okay. Around Lake, around Lake, Lake Chad. Chad. Okay, Lake, Lake Chad. Exactly. Lake, okay, Lake, Lake, Lake Chad. Chad. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So from Lake Chad, they continue to Sudan, mm. Nubia, okay. and from Nubia, they continue to the, the end to Egypt. Egypt is the end of this civilization. But before Egypt, before Egypt, mm. they leave Zender. From Zender, they go uh, to the they go uh, the group they go to Naf. They stay from Lake Chad, from Lake Chad to Sudan, to Sudan they continue and mm. they end. They landed 
to uh, to Egypt. Mm. That uh, that you know actu uh, actually. So that is um, that is the that is uh, that is the way from the first civilization of Egyptian and the end of this civilization on Egypt. Mm -hmm. mm. So that is the way. Okay. So my brother. No. I um, what we explain? No, we got that. That was beautiful. Yeah. American English because uh, I yeah. don't speak English. Okay. It's, already it's already been established. It's already been established in the Catholic uh, Research Center. Yeah. Um, so when he says when he says first time, he's talking about Zeptepi. He's saying the origin. I'll, I'll explain what he means. Okay. Um, we've already established, and some of you may already know who's done this research. There was a vast waterway between East Africa and West Africa. The whole Sudan is an ocean. And we know this because we find whale bones, we find fish bones, we find amphibian bones all through the Sudan. We see water erosion. Even the, the Great Thinks has water erosion. Okay. So the fact that this vast waterway existed between East Africa and West Africa, through which there was, you know, travel and communication, um, we know this from infrared imaging from outer space that sees this. The dust that we see, the, Hara, the, the, the dust storms that, that fly up the Sahara, that go all around the world, that's diatomaceous earth. That's diatomaceous earth that is being blown all around the world mm. and it fertilizes all the lands where it lands. Mm. So we get our fertilizer from, the, from down south, mm. wherever um, they have agriculture, from this wind, mm. from this uh, sand, sandstorm mm. that blows mm. every, every year around the end of, uh, near the end of the year, mm. all right? It's diatomaceous earth, so that again shows that this was a vast ocean at one time. Mm. So I'm just supporting what he's saying with regard that there was, um, um, there was a communication travel between East Africa and West Africa. A lot of people, they laugh at that concept because um, there's no connection between the, the Nile River and the Niger River. But in ancient times, there was a connection between East Africa and West Africa by a vast waterway. Um, the other thing about that is that uh, um, um, we also have DNA. <laughs> this is really, this is how far I did my research. I did the DNA of the fish and the crocodiles between East Africa and West Africa and found that the East African crocodiles have West African DNA. Mm. <coughs> Wow. That's all. So there's, there's a lot of scientific evidence to substantiate that, that this uh, intercourse between the East and West did exist. And that uh, we can see when we go through the caves of the Kapili Mountains, for instance, we see all these um, cave drawings of black Africans um, being displayed and their lifestyle and so forth and so on. So, uh, this, this is just to support the convention that he says with regard to the, uh, the vast waterway. Um, he speaks of the civilization that existed. Now we, we refer to it as the great flood from, from the Hebrew myth. Okay? But the text, the hieroglyphic text, does support the idea of a great deluge. And he speaks of the period um, that existed from the time of the deluge before and right after the time of the deluge to the um, um, transmigration of, um, of the Egyptian civilization um, to where we understand it to be today. There are a lot of other parallels that I think that if we were at, if we had the time, I don't know if we'll get into this, that you will begin to identify with because you have a basic knowledge of some of these things through other sources of knowledge that you have but which are corruptions of what we will find in the Egyptian text.